In this video, you'll get a quick overview of how to create an exclusive members-only podcast on WordPress with MemberPress and the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin by Castos. Maybe you have a membership site already and you want to start a private podcast and offer it to members. You might want to start a brand new podcast and charge for it, or you can take a new or existing podcast and make it so only people who sign up for free can get it. This could be a useful lead generation tool or just make things feel exclusive. Once you integrate seriously simple podcasting with MemberPress, you can make it so users who buy a membership are automatically given access to your podcast. And when they cancel or stop paying, their access can be auto-removed too. There's a lot of different ways you can use this integration to restrict access to podcasts. Before you get started, you'll need to have a WordPress site already set up. And you'll need the MemberPress plugin and the seriously simple podcasting plugin installed too. And you'll also need a Castos account. Okay, so getting started, for my WordPress dashboard, you can see that I have MemberPress installed here. And I also have the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin installed too. I have my WordPress site linked to my Castos account through an API key. See the resources in the description if you need help installing the plugin or linking your Castos account. And here in a new tab, I have my Castos account dashboard open, which you can see here. So going back to WordPress, first, I need to create a new podcast. This will be the podcast only site members will have access to. Just one note, if you go to the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin here on the left sidebar and go to Settings and Feed Details, you'll see your global podcast feed here that's set up by default. But you want to create a brand new podcast feed for your exclusive podcast. So to do that, I'll go to All Podcasts. Then I'll enter info for my new podcast here to create a new one. I'll give it a name and a slug for the URL. Then I'll type a description. Then I'll upload a cover image that I already have in my media browser. And I'll click add new podcast. And you can see here on the right that it's been created. You can see the feed URL here, which is the RSS feed for the show. See the link in the description for more information about what a podcast RSS feed is if you're not familiar with it. And here I can click the name of the show and edit its details. Also, an important thing to note, going back to settings and feed details, up here at the top, you'll see this link here for your new podcast. And clicking on it brings up the feed details for that podcast. And you'll see a bunch of options for the podcast feed here. Okay, so if I hop over to the Castos dashboard and refresh the page, you can see my new podcast added here. And you can click it and see and edit details here too. Now, the next thing I need to do is make this podcast private here in the Castos dashboard. So here under my podcast, I'll click distribution and then click here to make it private. And the changes are saved. Okay, so now going back to WordPress, next, I'm going to create a membership that people will buy to get access to my podcast. Then I'll link that membership to the podcast, so only paying members have access to it. So going to MemberPress and Memberships, I'll click Add New here to create a new membership. And I'll give it a name that reflects my podcast. Then I'll give it a brief description here. This description will show up on the registration page where users buy the membership. And there's a lot of options here available to be able to customize this membership, but I'm only going to cover the very basics here. So under membership terms, you'll set a price and a billing interval. So for my podcast, I'm going to charge $10 per month. So here I'll type 10 and the billing type will be recurring and monthly. So members are going to be billed $10 a month until they cancel. Then I'll click here to save the membership. And if I go back to member press and memberships, I can see my membership here. And if I hover over it and click view, I can see my registration page for the membership. So the next thing I need to do is map my membership to my podcast. So going back to the WordPress dashboard in podcasting settings, I'll click integrations. Then I'll check this enable member press integration and click to save the settings. Then I'll see my podcast here. Then I'll click this area here, and I'll see a dropdown with my memberships I have in MemberPress. 
I'll select the membership I created earlier and then click save again. Now your podcast feed is protected. Only those who purchase my membership will be able to see it. To show you what this looks like, I'll go to add new episode in the plugin and now I'll add an episode. I'll give it a name and select the podcast mp3 file for my computer. And it'll process it and upload the file. And I'll select an episode image, which I already have uploaded to the media browser. And I'll just leave the rest of the options set as is. And then over here under all podcasts, I'll check this to add it to my private podcast. Then I'll click here to save it. Now I'll go to all podcasts. And I'll copy this feed URL for later. Then I'll right click on it and open this podcast feed in a new incognito window. So I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So it's like I'm viewing my site as a brand new user. And here you can see that it doesn't show any info and it says this content is private. So I'll click this link here to go to my site. Now, after I created my membership, I paused the video and added a link to its registration page here in my site navigation menu under sign up. So going back real quick to WordPress and member press, and memberships, the registration page URL is this link here. So that's what I linked on my site navigation. So going back to that incognito window, I'll click sign up, and you can see that it's the memberships registration page. I'll register with some fake testing data. And then I'll click sign up. Then I'm taken to my thank you page, so I know the registration worked. So now that I have my membership as the test user and I'm logged in, I'll paste my podcast feed URL that I copied earlier. And now I can see the feed. I can see the episode that I created and I can download it. And people who sign up will also get an email saying that they can now listen to your show. And that email looks like this. They'll have links to install the Castos app on Google or Apple, and they'll see some other links for listening on whatever podcasting app they use. Now, closing this incognito window, if I go to the Castos dashboard and click subscribers, you can see my test user added here as a subscriber to the podcast. And here you'll be able to track your subscriber count, analytics, and more. And with this integration, you can also manage and sell multiple podcasts at once too. And that's it. You've now seen the very basics of selling a private podcast with MemberPress and Seriously Simple Podcasting. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.